Well, I've had to run judicial elections. In 2001, I was appointed. In Texas, if there is a vacancy on the court, the governor uh, makes an appointment subject to Senate confirmation. So in 2001, uh, Al Gonzalez left the court to be White House counsel to then President Bush. Governor Perry appointed me uh, to fill that vacancy. Uh, so the first thing I had to do was put together a political campaign, a team, and understand how politics works in judicial elections. And how it works is you, you hire a consultant. You find somebody to help you raise money. You find somebody to help you travel around the state. And then you have to think about uh, things like media buys. You want to be on television or on radio. Uh, you want to send mail out to the voters. All this costs uh, a lot of money. And that's why the, what the public sees is the judge with his or her handout asking for donation from lawyers and from parties that are likely to appear before that court. And that makes the public very suspicious. Is, is, uh, is a judicial ruling being bought by contributions from the lawyers that appear before that court? Uh, and so it really undermines the public's confidence in a fair and impartial judicial system. Uh, and then in Texas, it's a statewide race for the Supreme Court. Uh, and so, you know, you have uh, some of the biggest media markets in the country, in uh, Harris County and in uh, Bear County and in Dallas, uh, which is very expensive. Uh, so you really have to get out there and hustle. Uh, the other thing I saw was uh, the role of politics. Um, the, the political parties uh, have really latched on to these judicial elections. And so you have uh, the parties uh, wanting you to uh, commit to a certain judicial philosophy or ruling in advance of the cases that appear before the court. And that's very uncomfortable. And you have to get used to how to uh, communicate with these voters and with the parties to say, no, judges are different. Uh, we're not subject to uh, the, the political party platform. Uh, the judge's role is to look at the facts and the law in each case and make an impartial ruling uh, based on the objective evidence and the precedent that's been set. Uh, so that has been, uh, that, that was uh, a unique feature of a judicial election.